A third of you watching this video knew you were Sigma accidentally out of sheer curiosity. From there you scotched the internet looking for more information to convince yourself into believing you were Sigma. You cross reference every video you watch with another and every blog post or article with another. Next, you search for the world's famous person with a Sigma personality. Thereafter, you search for the world's richest Sigma. From there, you started putting two and two together and started making sense of why you were different and weird. If you went through this process, you are indeed a Sigma. Better still, leave a comment below on how you knew you were a Sigma. Maybe your search went too far and turned into a quest and you stumbled on the MBTI personality model and found out that the INTG, the INFG and the INTP share similar traits with the Sigma or maybe you first discovered the Enneagram and found out that you were a five-winged four aka the observer, the architect, the scientist, the mastermind, whatever the case. You went back and forth trying to piece these different personalities together day after day, video after video, and here you are trying to piece it together. The truth is, you will never stop searching. As each day goes by, your appetite is waited for more. As you keep learning and uncovering new unknown truths about yourself, you are poised and motivated to continue by the thrills of novelty you get from your discoveries. You feel like the world should come to a standstill for you to learn all that there is to know about the Sigma personality before quitting. If there is a perfect time to stop, now would be the time to stop and here's why. You have learned all there is to know about the Sigma personality. No other human brain can absorb the amount of information the Sigma brain absorbs in one sitting. According to the 20th age principle, you need only 20% of the information on the internet to affect 80% of the change you want to affect in your life. And that 20% contains the basics or the essentials of what it feels like to be Sigma, which is all you need to write your own story on the Sigma block of life. This video is not about telling you to stop your personal development and self-growth towards self-actualization, but it is here to remind you that actual self-growth and self-actualization is achieved by implementing what you have learned and not by the excitement of knowing who you are. The question you should be asking yourself is how to use the information about your personality as a sigma to ease your game, to reach your full potentials and achieve your widest dreams. The truth is, sigmas learn because they want to become better versions of themselves since they are always in competition with their previous selves. Without prompt action towards becoming a better version of yourselves, all the new information you dig up on a daily basis will have no effect on your life in the same way an old wine skin has on new wine. What you really need as Sigmas trying to be better and unstoppable versions of themselves is to start strengthening the positive attributes of the Sigma personality in you, like being more self-confident, ruthless in pursuing your goals, more intelligent, more knowledgeable, more imaginative, and more creative in generating new solutions to existing problems that could be commercialized. And tackling the core weaknesses and fears of the Sigma personality like procrastination, analysis paralysis, perfectionism, inertia, and trust issues which will make you whole and the undisputed Sigma you so desire. When Sigmas create a study bubble and get stuck in it, they tend to forget what reality actually looks like outside the bubble. Change is a gradual process, and for you that have taken the bold step towards personal growth and self-actualization, what you need now is to make yourself uncomfortable for 30 days by starting with the one thing all sigmas hate, social networking, which can be achieved through chit chats, your nightmare. And to achieve this, you must make yourself uncomfortable by leaving your comfort zone, that lonely corner, if you really want to succeed.